But uh, let's first kick it off with some perspective on the market. Arvind Sanger, managing partner at Geosphere Capital Management, is with us. Arvind, uh, good morning to you. Uh, good evening, rather, your time. And I uh, wish you a very, very happy new year to start off with. Well, markets are fretting. Now they're fretting over whether they expected too many rate hikes, whether six is too much. Maybe the Fed won't do. And there's, there's suddenly a lot of pullback happening. Uh, what do you make of the way Wall Street has opened up to the new year? Well, firstly, let's be clear. We had such a fantastic December in terms of market rallies, both in the U.S. and in many other markets, including India, that, you know, uh, profit-taking uh, and finding some excuse for profit-taking well, is natural. And, and then there are some real, uh, you know, issues here. You know, oil has moved up. Because of the Houthi action in uh, the Red Sea, we are seeing shipping rates uh, across containers and other things that have driven inflation in the past moving up sharply, they've moved up 25% in the last three weeks. So, you know, there is some countervailing, look, rate cuts were cut based on inflation is coming down sharply and it's going to keep coming down. The Fed minutes, in my opinion, were, you know, maybe somewhat of a trigger, but the more important point is that we are seeing some other things that are causing some disquiet in markets about inflation, maybe not coming down as quickly. We were seeing, you know, everything come down and now it's not. So I think that's causing a little bit of a, uh, you know, pause in this, uh, in this euphoria. And, and frankly, uh, markets were overbought, so they were uh, prone to profit taking. So I think, you know, it's a, it's a healthy correction. Uh, I have been, you know, in the camp of a recession likely in the U.S. I was wrong in 2023. Uh, right now I'm more ambivalent, but I am watching this uh, inflation uh, kind of reappearance in some sectors and, and want to see if this is transitory or this could uh, cause inflation to get stuck at higher levels than what the Fed would like to see. And if that happens, then, you know, the rate cuts may be pushed further back out. Okay, so this is a healthy correction, you say, Arvind. Hi, good morning and Happy New Year to you. What do you do when the market is uh, correcting in a healthy way? I mean, do you jump in? Do you stay cautious? What should an Indian investor do right now? Well, I would say that, you know, it's hard to make these twist and turn calls that, you know, market is up, market is down. But I would say, you know, if you have good companies in mind that you've been wanting to buy, and, and frankly, the mid caps have gotten even more frothy than the large cap market. But if you get some meaningful pullbacks uh, to levels which is attractive, uh, it would be time to buy. I would argue that, that the mid and small cap indices are still in overbought territory. And therefore, I would not be rushing in and saying, you know, the correction is over. Let me buy. I would be a little more, you know, greedy about looking for opportunities because, you know, when everything is going up, everybody has this FOMO of, you know, I've not bought it. And so I need to jump in. But don't be too quick. I think, uh, let you know, let things get back to levels which are within historical ranges to, to dip back in. So I would say be a little bit more patient, uh, as so especially the mid-caps have not come up as much as the large caps have. Hi, Arvind. Morning. Good to see you, Ben. Well, if you're looking to buy into some mid, uh, some large caps, uh, beg your pardon, what would, it, what would you be looking at? Will it be the banking names? Because they still have valuation as well as earnings outlook, which looks positive. Or will you be buying some of those old economy stocks, power-related stocks here in India? What would be on your buying list if, in case, we do go for a through a phase of some consolidation or maybe a bit of a downtick? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, uh, you know, financial sector, uh, some of the higher quality names there would certainly be amongst the ones that would make the list. You know, IT has sold off sharply. We've not owned IT all of 2023. Uh, we're now going to be looking at it if it gets uh, much more of a correction. Those are high quality companies that have, you know, long term, uh, some decent, not great fundamentals, but decent fundamentals and attractive valuations. And so the old economy stocks, you know, even the metals sector, which has gotten hit on this dollar rally, uh, we are interested in taking a look at some of those companies and seeing if valuations get attractive. Uh, those are certainly not gone to any over overbought conditions, so there could be some opportunities there. So, you know, we are looking at a mix of old economy and maybe a little bit of the IT, depending on the magnitude of the pullback where the opportunities get more interesting. Mm, okay. IT is interesting. I remember Bernstein giving us a non-consensus call. I mean, they're liking the sector this morning. By the way, JPM has cut the extent of its bearishness on IT. JPM was the biggest bear on Indian, Indian IT, but now they've, I think, upgraded the sector to, an, to a neutral at least. Uh, so IT is an interesting one. 
Arvind, uh, just a word on financials as well. What would you buy? I mean, there's one big, again, consensus thought process here that large banks will start doing well. Do you agree with that? And beyond the big banks, anything else you'd like to buy here? Well, I, I, I like uh, I like the big banks too. I, I wouldn't be dipping my toe into too many of the uh, you know smaller names. Uh, uh, we have a couple of uh, spe specific NVFCs we already own, uh, but I would be looking at some of the larger banks into a pullback, uh, the high quality banks, uh, you know, the Cotex, the HDFCs, and maybe even you know, the ICICIs. Some of those, you know, in that league of banks, uh, if we get a pullback, uh, because you know, the, I'll be honest with you. The market is not cheap, and therefore we are moving a little bit up the quality spectrum, even into pullbacks, uh, because uh, uh, you know we find the valuations there more compelling than some of the more risky smaller cap names. Uh, so you know, Jeffries put out a very interesting note a couple of days ago, uh, Arvind, where they talked about how the multi-year capex cycle in India is just starting to unfold. You know, where they uh, they speak about how housing, corporate capex and government capex, all three elements are now coming together in a big way. Um, or do you think that this could be a great opportunity for investors, both in, you know, capital goods stocks, in infrastructure names, in some of the allied themes? If yes, uh, where should one look? Yeah, I, I think uh, the capex theme is important. And, you know, uh, we look at companies that have benefited from industrial capex. We own one or two there. But I think, uh, you know, Obviously, l &T is the big one, right, across multiple sectors. But there are many niche companies across uh, various parts of the economy that benefit, uh, you know, from infrastructure, from private sector capex, companies that sell equipment in that into that space uh, or others. So, you know, uh, I think finding the right companies at attractive valuations, which has been, frankly, hard to do as a lot of people have chased after those names and private capex and overall capex growth has been a theme that, is well understood. So it's not a new thing that Jeffries is just, you know, mentioning. I think it's a theme that has been around for, uh, you know, for all of 23 people have been talking about it. Uh, but I think there are some opportunities uh, selectively that that we are invested in. And if any, any pullback happened, we would look at other names in that space. We, we are believer in that thesis, but, you know, it's not an early cycle play that people haven't discovered yet. All right. Uh, we leave it at that, Arvind. Thanks a lot for joining and appreciate your thoughts. So this is just a healthy correction in an uptrending market. That's the word coming in from Arvind Sanger. So not the time to be cautious just yet, perhaps the time to be building your shopping basket as well. If there is a big dip then or a big pullback, look at buying individual stocks is what he says. Let's slip it